Hey there, Pisces. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Spirit guides and ancestors, please help me to bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Pisces friends. Please help me to bring Pisces the information for this day that they could utilize for their highest and greatest good and the highest and greatest good of all involved because they're Pisces and that's what they want to do. Do, uh, let's do past, present, future, a card of advice, spirit. What do you say? Let's do that. Let's do these four cards. I just want to see if this is your reading, so we're going to take a look at the past, look at the present energies, and look at your near future, okay? And then you decide, through your intuition, if this is reading, is if this reading is for you. Only you'll know that, Pisces. We got a king of the swords and the unseen energy. Air sign, masculine, someone in the know, or just a very clear mind, keen intellect. In the recent past, the wheel of fortune, the wheel turned, and new fates were lied out. New karmic wheel, new cycle begins. And in the present moment, we've got a five of the wands, a competitive energy, but it's not truly fighting, it's like sparring, it's practice. Here's your wheel of fortune from the recent past. The wheel spun and a new cycle begins. And it starts off with a little bit of uh, friendly rivalry, a little uh, competitive action. Yeah. And in the near future, we have the lovers. Got to be careful and cover these up because apparently YouTube doesn't like, you know, the human body. Anyway, the lover's energy is in your near future. And a card of advice. Ace of Cups. Make the offer of love, Pisces. It's right there for you. Wow, this is really straightforward <laughs> it really is super straightforward i'm like ah, oh, what am i i want to clarify clarify what this is it this is right there this is beautiful um well done pisces you're on it uh what more can you tell me about let's just do we'll clarify each one tell me a little bit about the wheel of fortune spirit how was that change go what came up it was a two of the swords it was a decision that was made and that changed everything that spun the wheel and this five of the wands that uh, Pisces has been interacting with today this energetic sparring match it's sparring it's practicing it's not real fighting it's nine of the wands it's about it's about developing your skills to become the the trod and true warrior and what are these lovers about what is this lovers business about Spirits. Who are these lovers? What do we have? What is this? Why am I using this accent? Is it French or is it German? Or is it neither? It's American. That's what it is. See, I don't even speak no English. I just speak American. That's just wrong. Whew. Anyway. Is my neck looking a bit red right now? That's funny. Um, what do we got here, Spirit? What do we got for the lovers? <whistles> Not saying nothing, but it's our card, Pisces. The High Priestess. Use your intuition to know about this, to follow the choice. I always see the lovers as the option to choose love over fear. Yeah, you have a choice, and so you have the option. You always do. But you're going to use the option of choosing love, I can tell. Yeah, because the card of advice overall is love. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Choose love. And the lovers is about a high priestess. Maybe there's a high priestess coming in for you, Pisces. Maybe. Have a sip of tea.
Could be a high priest, you know. Could be a high priestess. I don't know. Your intuition will tell you. That's for sure. Mm. Wow, I'm, I'm really not feeling like there's much more explanation to make here. This is... You made, a dis you made a choice in the recent past, and that caused the wheel to spin. And today, you've, you know, in the, the present energy, is it's a little bit of competition, but that's building up your skills so you can become that warrior of the Nine of Wands. And in the near future, you have the lover's energy coming in with the High Priestess. Wow. Choose love, is what this universe is saying. And I believe you will. Well, Pisces, this is a quick read. This is not a long, in-depth reading. Um, just a daily energy check-in. Check back tomorrow. I'll probably have another one. Um, if you like this reading, throw me a thumbs up. If you get something out of it, if you're like, wow, that totally resonated, dude. Drop me a comment. I love reading comments. That's like my currency, yo. Like, I do these to give back. This is just so I can give back. I was given these gifts to use these cards, to trust them, to believe in them, to be able to convey messages. And I want to be able to give back, so let me know if it goes good for you. If you like these readings, you want more, click subscribe. You know, then you'll get to see more of my videos as they come out. I'm usually posting new content almost every day. And, uh, I'm usually doing for uh, zodiac signs or for uh, earth angels. Um, I may not always get your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, you know, maybe your Jupiter, maybe your Venus. You know, it depends on what you're into. What you're, you know, we all have multiple signs. Anyway, there's my spiel. There's my babble. I'm um, sending you a lot of love, and I'm sending you peace. Thanks for stopping by, Pisces. Take care.